What's up, LinkedIn? On this video, we're gonna talk about the connection message, requesting to connect on LinkedIn. So number one, what is the connection message? We're gonna get into that right away. It's the first message that you can optionally send to someone simultaneously with the request. So kind of like on Facebook, when you send someone a friend request, this is a friend request on LinkedIn that you can actually add a message to. Now, here are some examples right here what it looks like. You have Andrew at the top and a message, Matt and a message, Caitlin and a message, and so on. And so there are some do's and some don'ts, but before I get into that, I wanna tell you guys that when you're reaching out to connect with someone on LinkedIn, always add a message. Always add a message, the percentage of someone, the possibility, the probability, excuse me, of someone actually accepting you into their network and vice versa, letting you into theirs is substantially higher if you just add a message. Even if it's a bad message, it's better than nothing. But we wanna write good messages. So here's some do's and some don'ts. So some do's. Include a connection message when requesting to connect. I just said that. Next, you can name a mutual contact name, like, hey, Tom, uh, I noticed you work with Jerry in at this company. Would love to connect, we're friends. Next, uh, say who and what you're looking for up front. You know, hey Tom, I'm looking to speak with someone in the real estate industry. Keep it open. Now they're gonna say, now they're gonna think, okay, why does this person wanna uh, speak with me? And they may they may respond to you before connecting, or they'll just connect you into their network. Or something else recently that I saw that I really liked. Hey Will, uh, I wrote a book. Or hey Will, I'm creating. Uh, a Zoom meeting regarding XYZ topic. Uh, my team identified you as someone who might be interested in these ideas. Now that's great, it's, it's, it sounds free at the point. Maybe it leads to something, but it sounds like something that I may be interested in if that book was focused towards me, if that webinar or that Zoom meeting was focused towards me. And now last one, ask, would you be open to connecting? Ask someone, would you be open to connecting? You know, we're both directors in the marketing industry. We're both loan officers in the state of California. Ask questions kind of like that. Ask to connect with them. And then some don'ts, examples. Hey, Will, you run a business in New York, and so I wanted to connect. It's kind of broader than what I just mentioned over here, asking to connect because they're both in California. This is just you run a business in New York. You run a business in Los Angeles. You run a business in Illinois, and I want to connect. Okay, well, those are states and states are huge. What do you mean? It's kind of open. I'm not going to respond to it. Next, don't be irrelevant. And this usually happens when you're auto sending messages, which is auto targeting. So the auto targeting is just off. That's a different topic. It's a different video, but we've got to fix that if that's the case. Because you don't want to be irrelevant. You want to say, hey, Will, I want to connect because I want to talk, I want to, talk to someone in the design industry. And I go, I'm not in the design industry. Bad targeting. Number three, don't use smiley faces. It's just not professional. I know I like, to, I like to be cute and funny and witty sometimes, but not on LinkedIn. Uh, be obvious. Don't be obvious. <laughs> I got a message this morning and someone said, hey, Will, we don't know each other. But and I thought to myself, yeah, you didn't have to say that. I know we don't know each other. So you can cut the fat. Next, uh, don't say the industry. What industry? Again, that's bad auto targeting, I would believe. You know, it makes sense for us to connect because you're in the industry. What industry are you talking about? I'm assuming mine. I'm assuming the marketing industry, but I don't know. And then I came across your profile and I would love to learn about what you do. Really? You want to learn and you would love to know about what I do? You already know what I do. You saw my profile because it's my mine is optimized. Mine says everything of what I do. It makes no sense for anyone to ask me, what do you do? Because it's all there. Now, if this person wanted to ask a follow-up question, that would make more sense. But this person did not. Again, it could have been an auto message. I don't know. Just some examples that uh, have proven to work in the mortgage industry. So if you're a mortgage professional, mortgage broker, loan originator, these are three options that you can use. I'm giving them to you. One, hey name, I would like to connect as I'm looking to speak with a real estate professional. That person's gonna go, oh, I am a real estate professional. Why does he wanna connect? It's pretty open, it always works. Two, hey name, uh, 
this is a typo. I'm starting a webinar series for free and my team identified you as someone who might be interested. It will be about X, Y, Z. It will be about the rates dropping. It will be about coronavirus. It will be about networking from home, whatever it may be. Last one. Hey name, would you be open to connecting? I post daily video and written content aimed towards realtors with tips on how to get leads. And you can add in for free, of course, but that's kind of obvious. And I'm trying to increase my view engagement. Win-win. So this person wins because you're gonna view this, you're gonna view his or her stuff because you're gonna be good because this person's gonna be in your network, excuse me. And then you win because you're gonna be able to consume their hopefully valuable and useful content. So that's about it. If you have any questions, I would love to hear you guys uh, either leave a comment right here on LinkedIn or shoot me a message and I'll answer any questions you may have. All right, guys, stay safe and have a great weekend.